Hey, what's up guys? Michael Reed here from Glowbox 3D with another quick tips tutorial. And this one is gonna be about auto rigging characters. Things have gotten super easy today. We're gonna to use Adobe's Mixamo and pop in a character that doesn't have a skeleton, give it a skeleton automatically and bring it back into Blender. Maybe throw on a little animation for fun there to show you what you can do. All right, let's get started. So uh, we're going to do a quick little starting out. Thanks to Shara, Chara, Shara for uh, supplying this free uh, character mesh from Sketchfab. And uh, this is beautiful, really nice, great free asset here. Uh, I love Sketchfab. It's fantastic. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to download this 3D model here. This one comes in OBJ. I converted it to a um, GIF. A GIF. A GITF file and blah 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 and blah 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 and what and, and now we're going to be jumping into Blender and we're going to file import whether you did the OBJ or the GTIF and uh, and we're going to pop in the character here all right in the FBX so from here we can see that this is just a character blam it's got uh, diff different uh, mesh groups here what we're going to do is select all of those and we're going to control a and do all transforms to bring all of the transforms and scales and stuff whatnot down to the world origin here all good from here we're going to file export fbx we're going to do copy here and click this bad boy on so we can bring the textures with it make sure selected objects is clicked uh, we can turn off bake animation we don't need that and we're going to pop it into t-pose which i already have here from there, we're going to hop on over to Mixamo, Adobe's Mixamo. And uh, you can see I've already got it here. But what we're going to do is we're going to um, upload character. We're going to find our T-Pose, the one that we want to. We're going to drag that puppy in there. And uh, actually, we kind of do want to show you this whole process. Uh, so let's just pop into T-Pose. And with the magic of editing, we have time traveled into the future. And now we have here the character in uh, uh, Mixamo and it's it's showing us the character mesh and we go yeah it looks great textures are in because we told it to be so we click next here we're gonna do a little auto rigger this is the beautiful technology here we're gonna throw the chin up here on the chin there's a little zoom up there we're gonna throw the wrist on the wrist and there is symmetry right now clicked on because this it looks like it is working pretty symmetrically we're gonna put this uh, back on the elbows here we're gonna put this on the knees and this one goes up on the groin right there looks good right all right and you're gonna use standard skeleton 65 bones and this will be good for uh, Unreal Engine or whatever you're needing here uh, and we're gonna click next and after three hours of solving we zip into the future again it was about 30 seconds and uh, we've got her in this um animation here that basically is showing us kind of how the rig is working and the characters and it's like okay things are transforming and, and deforming pretty well we're gonna click next here and then ignore this yes yeah, say next and we we'll say all oh, right there's a t-pose uh we're gonna select the t-pose up here because i have a uh, search for a t-pose and we're gonna click t-pose put a t-pose on there and we're going to leave all this uh, standard we're going to download this fbx with the skin ignore these things and just say download and it'll pop a uh, thing in your downloads folder in which uh, case you will then go in and you will name it you'll pop it in here drag it in your character folder and rename it to t-pose uh, static mesh uh, rigged t-pose is what i named it in and we're going to go back into uh, here and we're going to pretend like that's not there anymore and we're going to uh, uh, import FBX and we're going to choose the rigged T pose is uh, what we're pulling out of uh, of the Mixamo thing we just did and this is it now and you can see the skeleton is there if you try to move this you can see it's been rigged and weighted uh, so you could collect uh, click on the skeleton do a pose and you can go in here and immediately start um, posing your character how you see fit yay very cool. That is the auto rigger from Adobe's Mixamo. And uh, just for a teeny little bonus here, what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to um, we're going to delete all of this, and we go back into Mixamo and we're going to say, what do we want to do here? Uh, is there anything else? Uh, let's see. Let's. Oh, I like the hokey pokey. Here, uh, this is a cool animation that I want to check out. We're going to leave everything standard. We are going to download with the skin again. We're going to download that. 
and um, boom, the Hokey Pokey is downloaded. We're going to throw the Hokey Pokey in here, the Hokey Pokey, rename it to, as I already did, a burr, 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 Hokey Pokey, uh, Hokey, and we're going to go back into Blender just to show you how animations work. I'm going to file, I'm going to import this uh, FBX, and it's the Hokey Pokey here, and we're going to bring that bad boy in, and there she is, and you hit spacebar, put your left foot in, put your left foot out, put your left foot in, and you shake it all about, and do the hook. And that is how you use uh, Mixamo's auto rigging system, and you jump back in uh, to Blender with, with your product right there, and she looks fantastic. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around for this tutorial, this quick tips. I'll see you on the next one.